In today's video, we are going to be doing a cheap versus expensive build your own fishing mystery box. Ah, no! I does not know what's coming for him. Do you all see that? Go! Whoever can get to that door first in this little mini race we are about to do is going to get to pick out three super cheap fishing lures to put in their mystery box. And that box is going to go to the person who loses the race. The person who loses the race is going to pick three expensive lures and put them in their box and that is gonna to go to the person who won the race. And to win the challenge, you have to catch a fish on each individual lure. And the loser has to do a belly flop into the pond. Oh, oh <laughs> man. All I know is I'm about to run faster than I've ever run before. <laughs> well, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go, man. Okay, in three, two, one, go. Ah! No, no! POV, Tyler's in the dust. Found my hat pulling off, dang it! I'm running so fast, guys, I promise. <laughs> Oh. oh, how did you win? Oh my gosh, like, I literally pulled a muscle there. I can feel it in my left my left leg there. Like it's just done. Dude, that was that was 30%, man. 30%? 30%, I just, once heck? I got ahead, I was like, oh, I got this. You have to pick out three lures, $5 and under for me, and I gotta pick out lures $15 and over for you. We can make it as hard or as easy as we want, and I'm gonna let you know something, I'm making it hard, dude. I don't wanna do a belly flop into a pond. Like, All right, there are some like really expensive lures that happen to be like, you know, not the easiest things to fish with, like big swim baits, crazy top water lures. Well, I think I'm gonna go right into the sales rack. I think that's the best place to start for the cheap stuff. Good luck, man. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna see what we can find. All right, what do we have here? What does Tyler not want? Oh, I already know it. This has gotta be a pick. Let's see, $10, $5, $3. There's nothing over $15 in this aisle. We gotta go another aisle. Nothing uh, over 15 yet. I mean, the little fishing kits, oh, no way. 397, the Slam Amander. That is one of the craziest looking soft plastics I've ever seen. We're definitely gonna go with the Slam Amander. I'm not really like loving any of these options over here. We got some crazy looking stuff over here. We got these really bright orange little grubs. What is this? A shrimp? Shrimp, but that's $8.47. That's a little too expensive. Oh man. The first lure we are getting for Fletcher is the rat lure. We gotta kinda whisper. $19.99. He's gonna be so caught off guard with this lure. Check this out. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the box. It's a nice fit in the box there. $197 for a clickbait. I didn't even realize that was a clickbait. I just thought that was like a chatterbait or something like that. Fletcher doesn't know what he's getting himself into. Like I know he's fast and all, and he beat me into the store, but he has. What's that? I don't know what Fletcher's got going on over there, but he's like dropping my lures and stuff. Like he's trying to damage them before he actually gives them to me. So let's go up and down this aisle. This is just terminal tackle, hooks, weights, nothing over 15 here. We gotta get in that $15 price range. Tyler is not a fan of this lure. He's gonna hate me for putting this in the box. All right, we got two lures. We got one more to go. And I'm just scavenging, looking. Literally guys, there is nothing that is over $15. Like let me know down in the comments if you see anything over 15 because there ain't freaking nothing. I'm kind of getting a little bit worried. Ooh, okay. We have some 13 fishing baits here. We have some, I've never heard of this brand before. So just roast me in the comments if it's like a huge fishing brand. Okay. We've made it to the saltwater section. We have spoons, we have jigs. We have a lot of cool different things here. Whoa. <laughs> Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? I could get him one of those lures right there. Ah, uh, you know what? You know what? Let's go for the saltwater section. I think we need to go over here to the saltwater lures and just pick something crazy. I think we're going to keep looking and seeing what we can find here. We're going to walk back down this way because I saw some really cool glide baits. I'm sure we can find something in the $5 price range. Yo, whoa, whoa. This dude is spying over here trying to look at my box. He did see us. He did see us coming. Oh, that's funny. We're trying to hide what we have from Fletcher, and I just came across these crazy glide baits. I don't know where he just skedaddled off to, but he's hiding in the shadows trying to get a peek at my box over here. Let's see, this looks like a good section. We got like a lot of bottom baits and like interesting sea critters. We got shrimp. Found some soft plastic crabs. I don't think that's gonna cut it though, because those are $7.99. Look at this. Look at the detail on that, $35. This belongs in the expensive 
fishing box right there. He's gonna have a hard time catching, well, he might have a hard time catching fish on that, but we gotta make it easy, because we really hope he makes it easy for us as well. The Savage Gear Crab, this thing is going to be money. Tyler does not know what's coming for him, man. He is not gonna know what's in this box. We're just gonna take a quick search around, go down one or two more aisles just to see if we find something better, but I think this is the ticket. Let's see, we got the mock baits right here. Should we get him a jerk bait? We should get him a jerk bait, because we got him like two ginormous lures, and if the bass are not feeding, he's gonna have a tough time because he's got to catch him on a rat and this crazy glide bait. And this thing's massive. They both look pretty good. I, I'm not gonna say that for the rat, but I think we're gonna get him a jerk bait here. This is $14.99 right at 15. I said 15 and over, so I think we're gonna get him the old little mock jerk bait right here. This is pretty saucy looking. So we're gonna throw that in the box. I think I think we're ready. Are you are you done? I think I'm good. I think oh, what oh, you got don't, there? What don't, you got don't, there, don't, man? Don't, man. See, the thing is, I got the expensive box, so I could literally close it off, dude. Ready? You ready? Watch this. Boom! All right, so we just pulled up to the pond. I have the expensive box here. You got the cheap box for me, and it, it looks pretty cheap, honestly. I mean, yeah, we had to bandage it up with some tape, all that. It was really on its last leg, but <laughs> it's got a it's got a proud new home over here. <laughs> so let's open let's hey. open it up, guys. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's see. We got the tape. Whoa! Did you what? see what I put in there? Dude, <laughs> are you serious? Are you, dude? Dude, you just flamed it too hard. <laughs> dude, I what? had to do it to you. What the heck? Gosh, dang! Be oh, careful, man, dude. Like... You know these aren't manufactured well, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was looking just at the crab. Like, I thought the crab was actually pretty cool. I've never fished with a crab lure before, so that should be pretty... I'm excited about this. But what I'm not excited for is... The salamanders, the slamomander. Can you explain to me the action of these baits? Like, what are these, like... like these are crazy looking. They have paddle tails. Just, like, open this up really quick and get yeah. a, a oh, quick look gosh. at one of these. Oh, gosh. Dang. So, it's got this salamander tail, and it's got this big old paddle thing going on. Mm. And it's just got all these appendages. So, I guess you could swim it, or you could, like, work it like a worm. Oh. I'm not really sure. They're pretty cool, if you ask me. I thought, they were, hey, I thought it was a unique bait. It is pretty unique. It's pretty cool but like I, I definitely am not super confident in this whatsoever like not one bit i'm confident in this thing <laughs> okay that is, that's not bad that's not bad you didn't do me too dirty you got you got something to work with i feel I, like they're <laughs> all they're all fishable baits that that could catch a fish for sure for sure like i, I definitely don't doubt that well i mean Maybe. Anyways, dude, what do you got here? What do you? We gotta. We gotta break Woo! into your box. This, I, I, this is kind of like Christmas for me, dude. I, I got. There's say. like. There's probably like sixty dollars of baits in here. What, oh my goodness, baby! Look at that. We got a little topwater action, a rat. That might be a little bit challenging for me because it is kind of early spring. We're just getting out of winter, so I don't know how many fish are gonna be coming up for topwater. <laughs> but we're gonna give it a shot. Ooh, a saucy little swim bait. Super saucy. Super Man, expensive. they've got some nice packaging. This thing looks expensive. Super clean. Yeah, that was the most expensive bait in the box. <laughs> yeah. And a mock work bait. Oh, I'm I'm super familiar with this. This thing yeah. is going to get hammered right away. Yeah, dude, this is going to be an interesting challenge. So with that being said, we're just oh, going to be we're off to it. Just like into that? it. Jumping into it. Okay. We have to go. Okay. I got one rod with me. You, this, these are all your rods, man. You bought a lot of rods, I got to say. <laughs> yeah. You're like pretty prepared here. I'm going straight into this rat. Oh, the rat. I think we're going to have to try to just get the top water bite out the way came with toothpicks i'm not really sure what those are for i think you should spend as much time as possible assembling that rat i think we're gonna go with the old salamander here let's see i'm gonna steal a hook right here i think we might actually end up tearing this neck fungus he's got going on here Oh, I thought you just spit in my face there. You got that little toothpick. <laughs> you got that toothpick. The disrespect right out the gate. All right, dude, you better start You're tying. You're a quick tire. Oh my gosh. You better I'm start like, tying. Fastest tire in the southeast. Let's get it, baby. All right, here we go, guys. We're first in the water. Let's give this thing a cast. The sun is coming down here. A good hour for top water if they're gonna bite it. I'm not gonna lie. This is a super clear pond. You probably can't tell with the glare that I'm experiencing right now. This pond is like gin clear, so these fish are gonna be able to see what this thing is from a mile away. Fletcher's already off. Like, this is a bad start for me. I definitely don't wanna be doing a belly flop. I gotta, I gotta get this freaking tied up. Oh, frick, I'm missing the hole. This is the weirdest rat I've ever fished with. It's like a whopper plopper rat. Like, most rats have like, like some kind of like tail action. But take a look at this thing. We got like crazy whopper plopper feet. I don't really know what this tail's gonna be doing while we're working it, but I guess it could just work as a whopper plopper if you lost the tail. Okay, here we go, here we go. We're finally making it to the pond. 
Dude, the salamander looks pretty saucy. I'm I, I honestly think that might be the best bait in the box. <laughs> I'm, I'm like have no confidence in it whatsoever. So I'm glad you do. You have confidence in it for me. I mean, far as the conditions are concerned, I feel like it, it kind of favors that. I'm gonna zip on over here, try to get over here to this saucy little corner. See if something is lingering in the area. Yo, I'm not sure if you can see this, but I'm gonna get a little closer to the pond here without falling in. The action on the salamander looks crazy. It looks pretty good just swimming it. I think we might get rid of that little red bit in the salamander. Fletcher's got the home field advantage, I gotta say. These are his home little saucy ponds here, so we're gonna have to really step it up if we wanna compete with him in his home waters on the cheapest box possible. All right, right now I hear Tyler jibber-jabbering about how I have some home field advantage. I don't even wanna hear it, man. I gave him the whole breakdown of this pond before we got over here. I showed him all the little spots, all the little places where I've had luck. Just, just get that out of your minds. Tyler has, I have absolutely no home field advantage here. This is a pretty simple layout. It's flat all the way across, a few little areas that tend to hold fish well. So I don't wanna hear no excuses when I give them the business, baby. Come on. I think we're getting rid of the red stuff, guys. We're getting rid of that red. I do not like this whatsoever. Oh, look at that. Yeah, taking, taking this little, whatever that is, taking that out of there is definitely gonna be the move. Oh, oh, right there. Like a two pounder just came right up in front of me. Followed it in. He's looking at it. Oh, oh, look at this. He's gonna eat right here. Come on, come on, baby. Oh, she's pissed. Kind of sneaky past him. Be a little sneaky. Oh, there's two fish, there's two fish. They might be on bed right here. She's thinking about it. Oh yeah, she's going right up to it. Try it one more time. I think these fish are on bed. Ooh. Got him! No! Oh, he missed one! <laughs> My drag Suck wasn't him. set at all. <laughs> Just super loose drag. Oh. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot to set mine too. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it. Oh, literally, like just Texas rigging the lizard. Like just popping it up and down off the bottom. I literally just saw a fish crush it in front of me. Well, he didn't miss it. Oh, he's got it again. Yo! What the heck? All right, guys, I'm gonna make a quick change. We're gonna cut this rat off really quick. These fish are on bed here. I just wanna get a bait on that can get down to them. I'm thinking maybe we can knock out this swim bait. Definitely think I can get one on the work bait pretty easily. It's like the smallest out of these. But these fish are pretty locked. And I feel like this swim bait could be a great bait to throw on them just to knock it out. Let's pop this sucker out. Oh man. That thing is looking nice, I'm not gonna lie. Dang it. Dang it, Fletcher's changing baits. He's getting dialed. Oh, this is not good. We got bit here twice, so that's 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 a good sign. We just, I think there's something with my hook. I need to check my hook real quick. Dang, Fletcher's putting on the bluegill. I can hear him. He's putting on his best chance on winning this. I think Tyler said this is like a 30 or $40 bait, so I'm pretty excited to throw this. Love me a nice high-end swim bait. Let's give her a snip snip. Let's get right back in here. All right, fish. Oh man, he came up to it hard. That fish was really checking it out there. Let this thing get down. It doesn't sink as fast as I thought it would. So it's gonna take a second to get it down in the water column. Oh no! Tyler's, oh he lost him again! The choke artist! Nothing there, man. That fish is being stubborn. Uh, he's checking it out, like swimming around it, but y'all have ever bed fish, you know how they can be. They can be real stubborn. I got a fish, guys, I got a fish. Go. Oh no, Tyler finally got that dang fish. Get up here, get up here, choke the Sally, choke the Sally. Let's go, first fish on the board right here. I think I need to get out of this spot. I'm spending too much time on these fish. Look at that, I had to let this fish eat it forever. Ah. Hey, do you mind unhooking this bass for me? No. Dang. Dude, you, you can, I think you can handle it, man. Ah. Oh man, I need to like save my hands for catching fish, you know, not for <laughs> unhooking them. Boom, look at that. First fish on the board. Nice little release. Was that on the Slam Amanda? Slam Amanda, man. I told you, dude. I, I just felt good about that bait. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh, we got one right here. We got one pissed off, baby. Yeah. Oh, 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 we had one bite it. Oh, Fletcher just missed one, y'all. We got to go. We got to go. Will she come back for it again? Oh, man. We had her for a second. 
Dang, that sucks, that sucks. I think we're gonna do something super, super sneaky. We're gonna put the old Sally on as a trailer, which I should have just done that as a two-in-one from the start, but like, I really like trailers on my chatterbaits because the bass already like a, like the Sally, and I don't know if they're gonna like the clickbait, most likely not, so we want something that adds value to this bait, like, you know, by any means possible. This is deadly, y'all. Look at this, the clickbait with the salamander. We might have to take it off and make it a little bit smaller. For now, we're just gonna do this. Let's actually start over this way. Just so you guys know, expensive does not always mean better. This bait is definitely not a simple bait to catch fish with. It's definitely a bait geared more towards really big bites, and it's kind of like a high quality trophy bass bait. So <laughs> it's it's one of those things that I'm really gonna have to work this thing in hopes of, you know, just at least an average size fish eating this thing. <gasps> oh, oh, she's got him oh oh we almost had him y'all we almost had him i think that's the thing with these fish today like they're not they don't seem like they're super active right now and feeding on bait where'd he go we just literally almost had one i cannot believe a bass actually was swimming towards this bait and like trying to eat it like that blows my mind oh we got one on us we got one on us oh <sighs> Man, dude, I had that one fired up. I had her so fired up. <sighs> she just missed the hook, man. They're just nipping at it. It's hard when they're like that, especially with a big bait where you just need them to like actually bite the thing good. How you doing, man? I'm trying over here, man. They're short striking the crap out of this thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, I've had like four or five really quality bites. They are just not getting a hold of the thing. That's crazy because like, it is like the most expensive bait in this challenge. I know. I mean, come on. I think we're gonna go with the crab. As much as I wanna get this bait out of the way, I think the crab is gonna be the deal for catching fish. Like right now, seems like they don't wanna be chasing too much. So let's break open the crab real quick. It's like a mess back here. Look at this. I've never fished with a crab before. I have fished in saltwater crab, like live crabs, but like, whoa, look at this. Okay, so how do I work this? Do I, I guess if I pop it up and down, I think it would be good, but like it has good action. I think we could actually catch some fish on this. And Fletcher still hasn't caught his first fish yet. It's like currently one and oh, so he could come back at any moment. But so we're using this time to kind of try some new things here. I'd really kill for a slam Amanda right about now. I feel like I crushed these guys on that thing. Have you caught another one yet? No, not yet, man. They, uh, they haven't seemed to like the clickbait. I'm trying this crab, so we're gonna see how the old crab goes. I feel like the crab's gonna be saucy, dude. I think so too. I think so too. Let's see what the action looks like on this crab here. So I can kind of get an idea of how to work it. I'm just kind of dragging it on the bottom, which is probably not a good idea, but let's see what it looks like. I'm sure it has pretty good action to it. That's pretty saucy. Oh, yes. Oh, that's gonna get much. Hey, thanks for the crab, Fletcher. Like, you actually really hooked me up with this crab. It looks insane. <laughs> I don't want to hear it, man. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I'm just, I'm just ignoring you. I, you're, you don't exist. <laughs> I'm locked in. We're all about winning over here. Straight dubs. Get twitchy with this thing over here. Yes, yes. Oh no! Oh no! Unless you lost one, guys. You literally just lost one. <laughs> Oh. I don't know if it was big or not. Man, Tyler, I just lost one. And then I collapsed in disbelief. And then I just got a nice jab straight to my shoulder from a root. Man, let's get back in there. This is just disheartening. That was the closest we've been yet, though. All righty. We have arrived. We have arrived. Time it's to get right back into this challenge. Day two. Day right two. Into... It's also day two. We've arrived and it's also day two, you know. We ran out of light, guys. So yeah, sun kind of set. And it's it's still one to know. One to know, man. You got some work to do. Hey, new day, different story. We're about to get out ahead. <laughs> I'm feeling like first cast bass is the move. It's a new day and a new story for me, guys. I'm not gonna let all the difficulties of yesterday and the missed fish and the missed opportunities get in my head. Coming at it with a fresh mindset, a fresh game plan, and we are not letting Tyler beat us in this challenge. Whoa! Easy now, easy. I thought I saw a fish there, I'm sorry, man, my bad. Uh, Oh, well, you saw this swim bait, dude. It looks like a real fish. Oh! Oh my god, a 
I caught one, you're not gonna believe the size of the fish I just caught on this thing. That, that counted, that was on the land. That, that was on the land. I've counted it, dude. Touched it. Did you touch the fish? Technically, no. You didn't touch the fish. I'll What's your call? What's your call? I'll give you a break because your last fish you should have had. That fish was, I'm not joking, the size of this swim bait. The size of the, the lure. size of the swim bait. Dude, no wonder you haven't been catching them on it. The fish can't even get it. Absolute tank. Appreciate it, Tyler, letting me count that one. Let me know if y'all think that should have counted down in the comments below. But we're going to run back to the golf cart and get this sucker tied off. And we are on to the next lure cut that off i'm thinking we're gonna go with a mock work bait bust this bad boy open love this little guy great little pond jerk bait definitely gets the job done and we're all ready to go baby let's slide on down this way pretty sure there's a little lay down over here somewhere let's go through here watch out for gators and snakes gotta risk it for the biscuit one good swing down this bank and then we're gonna keep moving oh is that a fish? That's a fish. That is a freaking fish. Oh, baby, that's a good one, too. That's a decent sized fish. Stay on. Stay on. We are in the lead, boys. We are in the lead. Stay on. Stay on. Don't flop off. Boom. <laughs> the mock work bait always going to town for me every single time. And we just went from last place to first place in less than probably about five or six minutes i'll take it. i'll take it like i said new day new game plan let's go i got my eyes on the prize now one more lure to go and we got the trophy baby and by trophy i mean tyler doing a belly flop into that water over there i'm just gonna have to screenshot that video footage and blow up a picture and put it right on my wall put it in a gold frame and everything now it's secure and it's showtime baby let's get to it get nervous tyler yeah what <laughs> well that should be interesting so what you're saying tyler is the clickbait is really good quality right <laughs> i think it's time we move spots they don't seem like they're wanting the rat over here sling this thing up under this bridge oh gosh that just looks like fish heaven Please. Oh, you can't tell me there's not a 10 pounder yonder sitting right on one of these pillars. Slither down over here. Maybe one on the outside edge of this little bank. Nothing under the, the dock apparently, or the bridge, I should say. We got it! Looks like it's jumping in the pond, boy! Belly flop time! Ugh, it's been three weeks later. 52 degrees right now. And I'm about to do a belly flop right now. Oh, 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 it's okay. 